We're here with Jolene Purdy, one of the stars of the new Fox sitcom, Do Not Disturb. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Good to hear. Now, how did you initially get this role? I was called in to audition for the role. Um, I know it was a Monday. I went in and I read and I went in again and I read and I went in again and I tested and um, I broke my shoe <laughs> the day of the last test in front of all of the Fox executives. I was outside trying to staple my shoe together to make it work. Um, I think it kind of put me in the right mood for the audition, you know, not so stressed, not so nervous. I mean, my shoe was broken. It's <laughs> and uh, was your voice, because you are an amazing singer, as we see in the first episode, was oh, that a part of the, uh, the audition, like you had to have that voice? Yes. They specifically told me um, that they wanted it pop and they wanted, you know, big belty sound and just as big and over the top and fantastic as I can make it. And so I definitely went in there and with my one line, tried to make it as amazing as I could. And is that, there's uh, indication that in the pilot that this is going to continue. So are we going to keep seeing you sing from episode to episode? Um, I don't know that you'll see me sing in every episode, but I definitely think that you will see me sing at some point in the lounge. And is that something you enjoy to do? Is that, do you have a, a background as like a, a big singer? I do. I started in musical theater. Um, I just did a show at Pasadena Playhouse while I was taping the pilot um, episode. And um, I love singing. It's awesome. Right now I'm working on some stuff and I'm going to start singing at some cabarets, possibly in the LA area. Okay. And uh, the other thing that I noticed in the pilot is that sort of uh, weight became an issue. With, and that is something that you don't typically see on TV. And I'm wondering how, how that felt. Um, a lot of roles that I have played have been based on weight. Um, and I think, I think it definitely needs to be on TV more because it is such a factor, you know? You, I definitely just in my life personally have faced, you know, you're too heavy for this role, you're too heavy for this. You know, it's, it's an issue that I think everyone deals with, even people who aren't necessarily, you know, the same size as I am. Um, you can never be too thin, I think, in Hollywood. <laughs> Wait, no. <laughs> And uh, then was it important, because I imagine most of those other roles where you got it because of, of the way you look, were those mostly like, it's played for comedy, but in this show, like, it, it's actually addressed in, I, I don't want to say a serious way, because yeah. it still is a sitcom, but it actually like, an, like asks that question about sort of that discrimination, which is something different. Was that like important to have that element of actually addressing the issue rather than just using it for comedy's sake? Yeah, actually, when we were shooting the pilot, there was a line in there that you know, um, where I sat down and I ate this burrito and, you know, Jason Bateman, our director, said, you know, I think that that's, that's not necessary. That's not, we don't want to make it a funny thing. Um, we want to make it an actual issue because it actually is an issue in life. Um, I know when I worked on Donnie Darko and they made fun of me for my weight there, um, I have heard people say, you know, I felt for your character. I felt the same exact way that your character felt. And I, I'm so happy to have people that just say, oh, I'm not alone, you know, it happens to everyone. Okay, uh, Jolene, thank you very much for talking to us thank here at Buddy you. TV.